Hi, today we are going to see about the discrete Fourier transform that is DFT. So the DFT is used to convert a continuous function of omega to discrete function of omega. DFT is used to convert continuous function of omega to discrete function of omega. And the expression for this uh, discrete Fourier transform is given as for an endpoint sequence, the DFT is given by x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N where k is equal to 0 to n minus 1. And the inverse uh, DFT is given as x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j 2 pi n k divided by capital N where n is from 0 to n minus 1. This two can be combinedly called as DFT pair. In DFT and IDFT expression, we have a term called e power minus j 2 pi n k by n as well as e power j 2 pi n k by n. So, this term's equivalent term is given as w n to the power n k. So, if here is minus, then it is w n to the power minus n k. Here, the w n power n k or n power minus n k is called as twiddle factor. The numeric value of w is e power j 2 pi, which is nothing but cos 2 pi plus j sin 2 pi. w Power n k is nothing but e power j 2 pi n k. If it is minus n k, then it is minus j 2 pi n k. If it is w power minus n k to the base n means it is divided by. So, this is nothing but twiddle factor. So, we can rewrite the expression of DFT as x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n to the power minus n k where k ranges from 0 to n minus 1. Similarly, the expression for IDFT can be written as x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n to the power n k where the value of n ranges from 0 to n minus 1. That's all about twiddle factor. Next, we will be discussing about the properties of DFT. So, the various properties of DFT are linearity, periodicity, even and odd sequence, complex conjugate sequence, magnitude and phase sequence, delayed or the shifted sequence, real valued sequence, time reversal, circular time shift, circular frequency shift, circular convolution, multiplication of two sequence, and parcel theorem. So, we will be discussing all these properties along with two. So, in this first session, we will be discussing till this real valued sequence. So, let's start the session. Our first property is linearity property and the statement of this property is if DFT of x1 of n is x1 of k and DFT of x2 of n is x2 of k, then DFT of a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n is equal to a x1 of k plus b x2 of k. Now we are going to see the proof of this linearity property. It is very, very simple. That is, what we know is DFT of x of n. What is DFT of x of n? Which is nothing but equal to x of k. And the expression for x of k is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Okay. So what is the LH of our property? LH is this. DFT of A into x1 of n plus B into x2 of n. So, in the place of x of n, we are having x1 of n and x2 of n. So, in the formula, we have to replace x of n as A into x1 of n plus B into x2 of n. So, we are going to rewrite the original expression of DFT in terms of A x1 of n plus B x2 of n as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n and the rest of the term is e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now we are going to split this uh, summation into two parts that is 
summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. The first part is a x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N plus the second part is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 b x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Here a and b are constants. So we can take it to the friend of the summation that is a into summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N plus b into summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now what we understand is this expression is similar to the expression of DFT of a sequence. Also, this expression is similar to the expression of DFT of the sequence. Only the difference is x of n is replaced as x1 of n in this expression. Also, x2 of n in this expression. So, this is nothing but x1 of k and this is nothing but x2 of k. So, x1 of k is multiplied by constant a, x2 of k is multiplied by constant b. Both the terms are separated by a positive sign. This is nothing but RHS of our property. Thus, linearity property is proved. Our second property is periodicity. The statement of this property is, if the sequence x of n is periodic with n samples, then we can say that x of n plus capital N is equal to x of n for all values of n. Similarly, x of k plus capital N is equal to x of k for all values of k. Now we are going to see the proof of this property that is we know that by the definition of DFT x of k is nothing but summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now we can take this uh, second statement which is similar to x of k that is LHS is x of k plus capital N. So in this expression we are going to write this uh, k as k as k plus n that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k is replaced as k plus n k plus capital N divided by capital N. Now this can be written as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. So we can split this uh, bracket into two parts that is e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N minus into plus is minus minus j 2 pi n capital N divided by capital N. So this n and n will get cancelled. This can be written as summation n is equal to n n is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. This is of the form a power m plus n. So this can be written as a power m into a power n. That is e power minus j 2 pi n k by n into e power minus j 2 pi n. Okay, so this is equal to, we know that e power minus j 2 pi n is nothing but cos 2 pi n minus j sin 2 pi n. The value of sin 2 pi n is always 0 and the value of cos 2 pi n is always 1. So this value is equal to 1. Replacing the value of this in this expression, we get summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. This is 1. So, this expression is nothing but x of k, which is our RHS. Thus, the periodicity pro property is proved. Our third property is even and odd sequence. So the even sequence is given as x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos 
2 pi n k by n and the odd sequence is x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sine of 2 pi n k by n. The proof of this uh, even and odd sequences. We know that dft of x of n is x of k that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. So this is of the form e power i theta minus i theta. So e power minus i theta is cos theta minus j sin theta. So this can be written as x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos of 2 pi n k divided by capital N minus j sin 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now if we multiply x of n and its summation inside the brackets we will get the answer as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos 2 pi n k divided by capital N minus j summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sin 2 pi n k divided by capital N. So this is nothing but this is the even sequence and this is the odd sequence. Thus the property is true. Next property is complex conjugate property. The statement of this property is if dft of x of n is x of k then dft of x star of n is equal to x star of n minus k. So we are going to take our L LHS. Our LHS is dft of x star of n. So we know that dft of x of n is nothing but x of k. That is x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. Now we are going to write for dft of x star of n. This is our LHS. So dft of x star of n is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is replaced as x star of n. x star of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now we are going to take this conjugate the whole power. That is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. The whole conjugate. If we take this conjugate inside e power, then this will become minus. Since we are taking it outside the whole, this becomes plus. Okay. In order to make it a, this expression as x of k expression, we need a minus sign in this. So in order to introduce a minus sign, we need to introduce a term within this exponential term. So we are going to rewrite this expression as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi capital N minus k into small n divided by capital N the whole power conjugate. So when we take this uh, minus j inside the bracket we will get it as e power minus j 2 pi n n divided by capital N into e power j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. So this value obviously equal to 1 and this value is same as that of this value. Okay. So this is nothing but x of n minus k the whole star which can be written as x star of n minus k, which is our right hand side, thus the property is proved. Our fifth one is magnitude and phase function. The dft of a complex sequence can be written as x of k is equal to x real part of k plus j x imaginary part of k. Okay. So, 
the magnitude of this complex value that is modulus of x of k is equal to root of real part square plus imaginary part square. Okay. And the phase of this is given as angle of x of k is equal to tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part. If x of k is x r of k minus j x of i of k, then the angle value can be written as minus tan inverse of x i of k, imaginary part divided by real part. That's all. Our sixth property is dft of real value sequence. The statement is, if dft of x of n is x of k, then the real value of x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos of 2 by n k by capital N. The proof of this statement is, we know that dft of x of n is nothing but x of k, that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. So this is of the form e power minus i theta which can be splitted up into cos theta minus j sin theta. So this can be written as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e, e power term is replaced as cos of 2 pi n k divided by capital N minus j sin of 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now uh, we are multiplying this uh, x of n inside the brackets and splitting the summation into two parts that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos 2 pi n k divided by capital N minus j summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sin of 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now the first term this is called as the x real value sequence and this is called as the x imaginary value sequence. Thus the property is proved. Today's session's last property is delayed or shifted sequence property. The statement of this property is if dft of the sequence x of n is x of k, then the dft of the sequence x of n minus n naught is equal to x of k into e power minus j 2 pi k n naught divided by capital N. And the proof of this property is, we know that dft of x of n is equal to x of k. That is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. Now we are going to take the LHS of the statement that is dft of x of n minus n naught. So the function x of n is replaced as x of n minus n naught. That is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus n naught e power minus j 2 pi n k divided by capital N. In this expression, we are going to replace as n minus n naught is equal to m. Okay. Therefore, in this uh, expression, n is replaced in terms of m. That is, n minus n naught is equal to m means what is m? m is equal to, sorry, what is n? n is equal to m plus n naught. So the whole summation transforms from n to m. The expression is written as dft of x of m is equal to summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m e power minus j 2 pi in the value of n. In the place of n, we need to substitute the value m plus n naught into k divided by capital N. Now we are going to split this exponential term. That is summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m e power minus j 2 pi m k divided by capital N into e power minus j 2 pi two pi n naught k 
divided by n. Now, this is similar to the general expression of DFT. Summation only the n and m must replace all the remaining terms of the sigma. So, this is nothing but x of k and the remaining term is e power minus j 2 pi n naught k divided by capital N. And our LHS is DFT of x of n minus n naught. So, this is our RHS. So, our property is proof. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this uh, DFT property session 1. If you have any doubts in any topics, please mail me. Thank you. Have a great day.